Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket and today I'm just going to be showing you guys how I make my videos for the channel. Um, due to the high, really high, high request on Twitter votes, I decided to make this video. Let's begin. So the first thing I do is I record the video. To record the video, I usually use Bandicam if I'm doing a screen capture, or I get out my camera if I'm going to be recording something in the real world. Then I have the footage here. It's usually in AVI format if it's from the Bandicam, or it's MOV format if it's from my camera. <clears throat> then I take that AVI and I put it through Handbrake. Handbrake is a com compression tool that compresses videos and converts them into whatever format you want. Well, not really. MP4, MKV, that's it. It's, it's a... it optimizes it for the web and compresses it so you can easily edit it or upload it... Uh, edit or upload stuff without it being too, um... how do I say this? Long, I guess? It sort of compresses it so it'll import into Sony Vegas Pro or whatever your editor is. So what I do is I set it to MP4, because I like that better than M M MKV. So MP4. First thing I do is I click on Source, Open File, and I open the file that I w am going to convert. Here, the AVI. That's the one I select. Then... Then it scans the title and opens it. I make sure I, it's web optimized because that way I can upload it easier. Then it's MP4. I set the de destination of where I want it. Make sure it's 1080. I don't put any filters on. Video, I set it to H264 um, or X264 because that's a fast encoder and it's good. I set this to lossle um, lossless because that's the best quality. And I make sure the frame rate is 60. I already know that can be that can be same as the source because the recordings I make are 60. And then I just set the destination. I add it to the queue and I start converting. Then when it's done converting, it'll come out as this MP4 right here. I take this MP4 into Audacity. I just drag it in, let it import, and then you'll see this on the timeline. Now uh just a moment, I don't have my mouse plugged in. Okay, I'm back. I f just forgot how to zoom in for a moment. I use a 1, Control 1, and Control 2 brings it back. So, here's the audio. Without any editing, this is how my audio on my Blue Yeti would sound. Actually, I just realized you guys won't hear that because my uh, settings on this... Bandicam are not set to allow you to hear that, so I'm going to stop the video and come right back. Okay, so this is how my audio sounds without any editing. Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and this... So as you could see, that obviously sounds terrible. I hope you heard that. I'm going to show it one more time. This is how white noise sounds. Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, so as you can see, that was terrible. So what I do is I select this white noise part. I make sure I don't get that click in because that'll make it alter out my voice. So this part is good enough. I go into effects. Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile. Then I double-click to select all this, go back to Noise Reduction. I make sure it's on Reduce, not Residue. I set this to 48. Make sure the Sensitivity I set to 14. Frequency Band, Frequency Smoothing Bands I set to 0. And then I hit OK. Then it goes through the process and removes the white noise. Or at least reduces it a lot. So now I'm going to hopefully let you guys hear this one more time. Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket. And as you can see, that did not have any white noise. Then I double click this, I go into File, and I export this audio. So I can use it in my video editor. I'll be right back after I export that file. 
Okay, then I make sure this is set to constant. I set it to the highest quality, which is 320 kilobytes per second. I set it to joint stereo so that you can hear it with one speaker. And then I hit save. And then I just sit back and let it export. Which I don't know why. Okay, there. I don't add any metadata because it's not going to be useful anyways. And then I just let it export. Okay, when it's done exporting, I just close this. I don't save the project because I'm not going to need to edit this again. And now I have my three files. The AVI file I leave as an original in case I ever need to... In case these files ever get broken, I always have that. But I'm going to, going to delete that when I'm done editing the video because I don't need that. Now I take this and this and I bring that into Sony Vegas. And in Sony Vegas, all I do is... I can't record it because... First of all, let me just say, I can't record it because Bandicam takes up almost all my CPU power, as you can see, and Sony Vegas also takes up all my CPU power, and it just glitches out and the computer freezes up, so I can't really do that right now, so all I can do is explain it to you. So I take the audio and the video and bring it into Sony Vegas, and in Sony Vegas, I just mute the video audio and replace it with this audio, and then I do all the edits like speeding it up, slowing down the video, speeding up the video, um, adding pictures to come up, and then I add music, and I make the music uh, volume go up and down, and my talking go up and down and all that, and then I export that as a WMV 1080p with 60 FPS, and then I upload it and add the end screens, which is those videos that you guys can click on at the end of the video. I add the annotations if I ever need that. And then I add a uh, whatever links in the description that I need to add, like the parts if I'm making a build or the PC part picker link. And then I finally make the video public. I publish it and you guys have the video. So that's how I make my videos, guys. I hope you guys learned something from this for your own channel or whatever you wanted me to make this for. Because, I mean, there was a lot of people requesting this. So, but be sure to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it for some reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be this video, actually. Because I edited this video. And also because there's another video coming out that's going to be really good. So make sure you subscribe because one, the, one of the next videos coming, I don't know, it might be five videos from now, but it's going to be epic. So make sure you stay subscribed, guys. See you in the next one.